Oh yeah, if I want to be a rich white lady, I gotta start acting like going shopping at Pottery Barn. See what kind of Easter. Oh, look at that Easter dinner. That'd be nice to have the Easter bunny over. Look at all this cute stuff over here. Look at these bunny rabbits. It's pretty nice. Botanicals. I don't know what that is. We We're gonna see what. Oh, it's flowers. Okay. Oh, look at those. What are those? Ranunculus. I love me some ranunculus. <gasps> Oh my god, yes! Oh, sis, look at this. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Look at this pink, and then a, another kind of pink, and then a different kind of pink. That is so beautiful. Oh my god, that is... Uh, what the hell? Hi everybody, did you see that? $250, $250 for a wreath, okay? And it's not special flowers, it said they were made out of polyester and plastic, just like these from Dollar Tree. Right here I have a 14 inch form that I've wrapped in tool because you know the drill by now, that's how we roll. We do this as cheaply and as quickly as possible. There are about five different peonies at Dollar Tree. There's this creamy color, the mid-tone pink, and then the light pink. There's a white one with little pink tips, and then a really bright pink one, which is obnoxious. So I got the creamy color, the medium pink, and the light pink. I have three of the pink, three of the light pink, and four of the cream. Yellowy apricot color, because I like those the best. So that gives me 60 flowers total. Which means I have 10 flowers for each of these sections, which is a lot. But if you want it really full, you really like the way the Pottery Barn one looks, you're probably going to need 10. I kind of wish that I had gotten one more or two more. But you can definitely get by with 10. I mean, I did, and I think this looks really nice. I started this out by... For some reason, just thinking I could pull all the flowers off and stick them on there, and then it takes me a while to remember that when I was doing basically the exact same thing with the heart wreath, the one that was full of the roses, I had to go through and cut those little bat off. If you don't cut that little piece off, they won't lay flat. They'll be harder to stick on. It's just better to get that taken care of and it does take me about half the video before I realize wouldn't it be more efficient if I just went through and cut all of these off at once so eventually I get there and do that but if you're starting this pull all the peonies off cut that little end piece off and go from there and I did have a couple of these kind of fall apart I mean it's it's a dollar you know I'm you can't, you can't spend a dollar on something and expect it to be as nice as something you'd buy from Michael's Hobby Lobby or a, God forbid, Pottery Barn. So when they did fall apart like this one, I just kind of glued them back together. And the thing you really need to look out for if you're going to do this is all the peonies in the bush, where there's six of them, they're not all the same size. So there's maybe three big ones two medium-sized ones and then like a little one. You want to make sure you spread those out. And the way I'm doing this now is not the way to do it. Again, I mean, we'll get to it eventually. It just took me a while. I just started new medication. And I don't know if it's that or if it's anything else that's going on, but I have just been like so dumb lately. <laughs> not dumb, but just like, why did it take me so long to realize I should just cut all these off at once? And why did it take me so long to realize that putting these all right next to each other in a row isn't the easiest or most economically... <sighs> See? I don't know. That it's not the easiest way to... Why did it take me so long to realize that it took... Oh, God. I'm just gonna leave this in here. This is what life is right now. I'm crazy on new pills. Putting them all next to each other isn't the best way to utilize the flowers effectively because I definitely could have run out at some point if I didn't have 10 bunches. You know, like if I had only bought three of each color, maybe I didn't have those extra six flowers that I got from the cream bunch. By putting them so close together from the get-go, you could run out and then, you know, have to go get more or God forbid you go to Dollar Tree and there's none left and what are you going to do? So. 
after I get all these cut off, I start putting them on by color, like put all the peach ones on first, go in and fill them with the pink ones, go in and fill them with the lighter ones. That is some really bad rain outside. So yeah, there was a better way to do this, and I think I'm going to do that in a minute. This whole wreath from start to finish ended up taking me a half hour. So, I mean, it was pretty quick. So see, that's one of the big ones. And now I'm gonna take the next big one and move it down some. And then take another big one and move it down. So I'm filling in with all the same color, all the big ones at the same time. If I had done this, I was wondering why when I was doing this, I was like, why is this taking so long? Like this should not, this is like a 20 minute product for me. And I was 20 minutes in and it wasn't even half done. So I was wondering what was going on. And then I said, you know what, if I just go with the flowers, that's gonna, I won't have to dig through them every time to find one that's the right size. I can just put all the big ones on and then go in and use all the other ones to fill in the spaces in between. And yeah, obviously this is sped up, but you can see how much quicker this is going because I'm not having to like puzzle piece everything in. And if you saw the thumbnail and when you see the pictures at the end, you're going to be like, are those the same wreaths? Because they do not look like the same wreaths. The problem with using flowers from Dollar Tree, besides them kind of falling apart sometimes, is that there are five colors and you are limited to those. The white ones did not work for this because they were very stark white with very dark pink spots on them, which uh, 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 didn't work for me. The pink ones were a color that does not occur in nature. They were so like bright and just in your face. I knew those weren't going to work. So if you want to be able to use a cheaper flower to save yourself some money, you have to work a little bit harder, I guess. So once this was done, I was taking it outside and I was going to just do my spray. And then the more I looked at it, I was going to just spray with my matte coat that I like to use to dull down the flowers. The more I looked at it, I was like, there's a lot of variation in these colors, just between the light pink and the medium pink. I mean, I can't imagine what it would have been like had I gotten the darker pink ones. So I took, instead of using a matte spray, I used a couple of very, very, very light coats of flat white spray paint. Not really spraying it on there, just kind of like holding it out and like over spraying, you know, like aiming for one section and hope that some of the paint drifts onto the wreath. I did that a couple times until the colors kind of evened out. And then I went back with a frosted glass spray and sprayed that all over. So everything was just a little bit muted. And you can't tell that they've been spray painted. I mean, like, I'm not talking about going in there and drowning this thing and completely changing the color. It was very light coats and it just kind of made everything more cohesive. And I think it came out 10 times better than I thought it was going to because I was kind of worried about some of those colors when I was making it. But you see, it's just very soft. Everything kind of blends. You don't see any of the paint. I, I just, I think it came out really nicely. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, follow me on Instagram, and I will see you guys on Monday with something else. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had fun making it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.